you know, for the recreational player today, I don't see them working on their wedge game enough and their short game enough. And I certainly don't see them being creative enough around the putting surfaces or like this shot, maybe 30 or 40 yards away from the green. I had the wonderful privilege in the 90s of working with the great Seve Ballesteros on his golf game. And believe me, Seve didn't need any help with his wedge play at all and certainly taught me a lot about it. But one of the things he encouraged me to do was be creative. And I talked to my amateurs about the two greatest short game teachers in the world, Dr. Trial and Mr. Error. I want you to try things. I want you to try playing with the face of the golf club. I want you not to be scared to open the face a little bit. I want you to play with the length of your handle, down the, down the handle, mid handle, or high handle. I want you to play with how open or closed your stance is, how forward or back your ball is. You're not gonna learn how to be a good wedge player without trying different things. And you're certainly not gonna have an arsenal of wedge shots without being creative. One of the things that Seve loved to do when he hit that high soft shot was he loved to put his left hand on the grip in an extremely weak position. He went from playing this way in his long swing to getting the club in a really, really weak condition in his left hand, never allowing the face to release or shut down in any way, shape, or form. So things like that, those little idiosyncrasies in short game can change you from a very average short game player to an exceptional short game player. So when I hit my high soft shots, I like my face open a little bit, my left hand grip a little weaker, okay? The ball is pretty neutral in my stance. And I'm able to hit that high soft shot very easily. That shot I just hit, okay? Things I took into consideration. The pin location, where that bunker was, where my better space was in terms of where that pin was located, what kind of trajectory I wanted that the ball come in at, you know? So things that, things that I had to think about. My ball position, I had to think about that. Was the ball going to be back or forward in my stance? I wanted that ball come in a little higher, so the ball was a little more up in my stance, okay? If it was a lower shot, the ball would have been back and my shaft would have leaned more. I didn't want that. I wanted it higher. So the ball was forward, my shaft was more neutral, okay? All those little factors, all those little nuances are going to make you a great wedge player. Trial and error.